Hi, in this video we are going to show you how to create a birthday campaign using an automated email. So basically you can uh, put a contact's birthday in and then send them a email automatically on their birthday without ever having to even think about it other than just putting their birthday in and configuring this campaign. So let's get started. The first thing to remember when you're building any sort of an email campaign in Plan Plus is, is a campaign is really three parts. There's an audience list, there's the template that you need to design, and then there's the schedule that you need to send. Now, with these drip campaigns, we're gonna the scheduling and sending is a little bit different than creating the audience list, but uh, that's what we're going to show you here in this video. Okay, so here we are inside of a business edition of Plan Plus. You'll know that it's a business edition because you see the marketing tab here. We're going to take a look at our contacts tab just so you know what field it is that we're referring to. So I've got a field here with a birthday in it. Uh, it's just going to refer to the, the month and the day. I can leave the year out for this particular campaign. Now, next thing that I'm going to do for, for a drip campaign is I'm going to create an advanced search. So in this search, I want to do it based on birthday equals. Uh, here's a little trick that might not be readily apparent, but you can put the word in today to make a search relevant to whenever that search is pulled. Otherwise, you'd have to select the date from the little date pop-up. So um, if, if you do today minus zero, that would basically be the same as putting in today. So you can just put today in. Now what we'll do is we'll save this down here and we'll call this search birthday equals today. Public means other people in my account could see this save search, so I'll save that save search. Now that's going to help define my audience. Now I'll go over here into the marketing module, and I there's I can use one of the wizards, so I can go through uh, marketing new, and I can do a new drip campaign. Call this birthday drip two. And then if you're inside of a wizard, you'll, you'll see the import from collection. From in here, you can go ahead and, and pull in various different email templates. You can, you can browse the templates here. And if you want to include one, you can just check that. And then you click Submit down here. And then that will make that will pull that template into your account so that you can then further edit it. So let's say I want to edit that template, or I select that template, make it part of my campaign. And this is just going to be a one step drip campaign, is the way this is being built. Now you'd use the same wizard if you wanted to, to create a drip campaign with multiple emails. Let's say you had a new customer welcome campaign that had five emails and they received one each month for five months. You'd use the same wizard to build that type of a campaign. But in this case, this is a drip campaign. It's going to be tied to just a single email. And from this next page here, I'm going to go ahead and submit that. And if you haven't sent any campaigns out, there's a couple of warning messages that could show up on that last page that would tell you to make sure and configure your uh, email marketing settings. So let me just point out where those are at real quickly. So in your account setup, manage profile, there's an outbound email setting. Now this, you should have some settings inside of your account for your server host. If not, you can contact our technical support team or you can contact your own email administrator if you're sending emails off your own mail server. Now, here's my recent drip campaign, so I can click on that, open it up. If I want to edit that email, I can click the pencil, and I can change this campaign. So I'm going to change this somewhat. So I just want to add a subject here. And this, of course, is not quite the right message that I want to send out, but let's say I want to send... Uh, I'm obviously not a greeting card writer, but uh, you know, you get the idea here. Now let's say I want to change the picture that's on this, and this is just a little bit of training for any sort of campaign that you want to build. Let's say I found some other picture that I wanted to upload. You can go to images, you 
Now, of course, you want to be uh, respectful of any permissions and rights to any, any uh, images that you pull off of Google. Birthday cake. So I just saved that to my desktop. Now, if this was your own website and you're going to grab your logo or some picture that you actually have access and rights to, it, it's the same process. So then back inside my Plan Plus, I've got my template editor open. And let's say I want to I want to change that image. So I'm going to click on the image icon. I'm going to I want to upload a new image. So there's my birthday cake. I need to send it to the server. It tells me that it's been successfully uploaded. And then you can change the, the size of the picture if you want. Or you can just leave it the way it is. You can add some alt text if you choose to do so. So now I've just changed the picture there on my template. Alright, so I'll submit and save that template. Now this, when you create a drip campaign, you're basically just building the the framework of the campaign. Now you've got to go in and, and sit and either attach it to individual contacts or in the case of this birthday drip, we're going to set this up to send on a as part of a background thread that's going to check every day and see if there's any birthdays that need to have this campaign set out. So what we'll do is we we'll want to make sure that our campaign is published. This is an important step. So always go in and publish your campaign. That just allows so that it can be used. And then on this type of a campaign, we want to allow multiple occurrences on the same audience because each year you may want to send them the campaign. There's a couple of other options here that you can uh, explore with these various drip campaigns. Now, once I've got my drip campaign in published mode and I've got my save search created to connect the dots and make this so that this campaign will run on a daily basis, I'll come over here to the background workflow engine and I'll go to scheduled campaigns for contacts and I will create a new schedule and this is pretty simple. I say birthday email campaign I select my save search and then I grab my birthday campaign. This setting here allows you to update fields whenever this campaign is attached. In this case it's not really relevant so I'll click submit. Then the last thing you want to do is just enable this campaign. So this campaign, the way the background workflow engine runs is it's gonna it's gonna do a query each day for anybody who has a birthday on that date and then it's gonna attach this drip campaign. So you'd be able to come into your background workflow engine and see any of those emails that were sent up. And they should show up on the contact record as well as having been sent. So there's another video. If you want to see how to just trigger a task for birthday campaign, you can watch that video. And that would allow you to customize the email or send something more personalized compared to just this generic birthday message. So just to review, for any drip campaign, you're going to want to create the campaign in the marketing marketing new campaign within that you'll select or edit your email templates and define the schedule schedule meaning you know day one day five day seven and then you'll go back and publish the campaign then you want to make sure that you have a, a saved search as in a contact or a lead or organization saved search and then you'll go into the background workflow engine to con to configure the new schedule which will include the saved search and the campaign and then you just check the box to enable the campaign schedule